Peace up about what's good. It's up by Coach Malachi Williams, and you will now tune to True Media Today USA Boxing. Let's go. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. I heard everybody check this out. I had to do a video on this one. Yesterday when we went when we went live, you know, I did look at the uh, an interview that Jose Benavidez did, I think with a Mexican uh, news reporter, and he was apologizing to Saul Canelo Alvarez. Yes, Jose Benavidez Sr. Now, the crazy part about it is this. You know, you've been saying that Canelo has been avoiding your son. You've been saying that Canelo is ducking the Mexican monster and all of this stuff there. And guess what? You probably have some validity to what you're saying. Canelo has been avoiding him. In regards to what Canelo fans have been saying, he, does, he, did, he doesn't want to fight that guy. These are the facts. For whatever the reason may be, you can say that he's not Mexican enough. You can say he hasn't done enough. Whatever the reason may be, what, you use those reasons for why Canelo should not fight this guy. And that's fine. Not every Canelo fan, but most of them. So I sound like to say this. Um, you know, now Jose Benavidez is copping deuces. Now, you know, Canelo, man, I'm sorry, man. Oh, my son is really not Mexican. You know, we're going to stop calling him Mexican monster. He's really Ecuadorian. He's from Phoenix. You know, even though I'm from Mexico, you know, we, we're going to we denounce our Mexican ship. Please, just please. I, I want this fight back. Please, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you what happened. You know, uh, uh, um, Al Heyman gave him a call, right? Canelo is PBC now. He's running the PBC. Listen, all of those fighters on the PBC, I think Al Heyman probably had like 300 fighters. All of those fighters at the PBC combined don't equal one Canelo. That's the problem. From a draw standpoint, they don't match what Canelo matches, especially from a pay standpoint. He's getting $100 million. Who is getting $100 million over there at the PBC? Nobody. Errol Smith ain't getting a $100 million contract. Tank Davis ain't getting a $100 million contract. Deontay Wilder get a $100 million contract. But guess what? The guy who is not a PBC fighter comes over from Mexico and get a $100 million from Showtime. Because that's who put the money up. Paramount, who was the parent company of Showtime, they're the one putting the money up. I haven't even put the money up at all. So the networks put the money up. So this is what it is. They don't put money up for those other fighters over there. So he probably came over there and told him, hey, look, Caputo, you got somebody over there on your record label that I don't like? David Benavidez, his pops been talking crazy about me. You need to check that. I him and got on the phone, got Jose on the phone. He said, look here, Jose, check this out, man. You know, you know, um, uh, 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 Canelo Alvarez is one of us now. You know, I look at I him and the Suge Knight, PBC being death row, and Canelo is Tupac. So now that Tupac has signed to Death Row, Suge Knight, a.k.a. Al Heyman, had to get in contact with Jose Benavidez and let him know, hey, look here, man, check this out, man. He's one of us now. What you need to do, you need to apologize. Not only apologize, but you need to go to and go, and go into the heart of Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico, and you need to go um, do an interview with a news outlet and apologize in Espanol. And then you come to America, get on the boxing boys, you know, um, get on LA Sucker Nigga Nutsack, and you need to apologize. Don't go on that whole ass nigga, um, Coach Malachi show, because he, you know, I'm willing like him, even though I pay him on the back end, but that's neither here nor there. But we need you to apologize. And now he's on an apology tour. This man had snot coming out of his nose. He was crying, wiping tears from his eyes, bottom lip trembling. I'm like, dude, if you feel like the man was ducking you, bobbing and weaving, stand on your square. You got Al Heyman, Suge Knight, you know, giving you that phone call, and now you apologizing and crying. All the Canelo fans is laughing at you right now. We told you, Coach. Now, I got to hear this from the Canelo fans. We told you, Coach. We told you that puto. We told you. We told you he was club chasing. He didn't want to fight Canelo. We knew he's not even really Mexican. Like, bro, when it comes to David Benavidez, he's not really Mexican. He's guacamolean. Of course, shout out to D-Block. That's what he say. You know, he's, he, you know they, they say everything, but let's fight. So Canelo's going to fight Jamel Chalo. Then we hear he's going to fight Jamal Tano. So he's going to fight the drunk, the alcoholic. He's going to fight the, uh, you know, the uh, obviously drug, dr uh, obviously uh, uh, Jamal Tano's fighting addiction. So he's going to fight the addict, you know, uh, Jamal Tano after he fights, you know, well, he's going to fight Jamal Tano after he fights Jamal Tano. So if he beats Jamal Tano, he's going to fight Jamal Tano. And David Benavidez is praying, hoping, wishing on the star that he is that third fighter that Canelo selects. So we'll see how that turns out. Now, my opinion, I him and gave him the call. Because all of a sudden, this man is on an apology tour. 
crime, you know, snot coming out his nose, everything. Jose is on an apology tour. Now, some people say that Canelo probably told Al Heyman, since he's running the show over there at Death Row, he told Al Heyman, look at Puto, if you want me, you got to get that Puto over there to apologize to me. I'm, I'll am take the $100 million. Let Showtime know. I'm going to take their money, $100 million. I, you say you say our boy slip black fighters? Okay, i take Jamal Tallow. Jamal Tallow said he turned the fight down because he ain't really ready. He gave it to his little brother. So now Jamel Tallow got a good chance of winning this fight. Good chance of winning. But if he knocked off Jamel Tallow, then he going to get dog on Jamal Tallow. You know, Jamal Tallow mentally ain't right. He got whole problems. He going through some things. But that's neither here nor there. So he going to get Jamal Tallo. And the third fight, we really don't know. He may can get Spence, but Spence probably going to get knocked out by Crawford on the 29th. Boy, I can damn that. Listen, you Spence fans, boy, y'all got something coming, boy. Y'all going to be shocked at what's going to happen on the 29th. But that's neither here nor there. Let's pivot back to Canelo. As it relates to Canelo, Canelo, um, he probably told him, man, look here, man, this is what it's going to be. And Al Heyman is doing everything in his power to please Canelo Alvarez. Canelo get to pick and choose who he wants to fight at the PBC. You know, Floyd Mayweather ain't got nothing to say about it. Booger Ray Leonard ain't got nothing to say about it. And Al Heyman is complicit in Canelo's fight selection. You get what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, as I said before, the, all of those fighters at the PBC... They do not add up to one Saul Canelo Alvarez. They don't bring the revenue that Canelo brings. They don't sell the pay-per-views that Canelo would sell. Now, Tank Davis did good with Ryan Garcia. That, that's the one exception, right? When Ryan got said he did good. But listen, we and then and no one over there is getting $100 million. Tank ain't getting $100 million from our, from, our, uh, from Showtime. Canelo is. Errol Spence ain't getting a $100 million contract from Showtime. Canelo is. Did Deontay Wilder ain't getting a $100 million contract from Showtime. Canelo is. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, both Charlos, the Benavidez, the plants, none of those guys. You can parole all those guys up into one, you know what I mean? And they ain't going to equal the amount of money that Canelo going to make. So by him being the cash cow, Al Hammond bowing down. He like, look here, man. Look here. We got we got this boy from Mexico. I love everything about him. The follicles of his red hair, every freckle on his face. Everybody on death row going to have to bow down to Tupac. I mean, um, uh, uh, I mean, Canelo Alvarez. I'm sure, Knight. Everybody got to get in line. You won't find nobody at the PBC saying anything bad about Canelo. They will be praising him. Booger Ray Little going to kiss his ass. Dog on um, um, uh, 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 Floyd Mayweather going to kiss his behind. He gonna, all of them going to do it. I'm telling you this what's going on. And they made Jose Benavidez apologize. Please hate, like, share, and subscribe. Let me, let, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think that Canelo uh, played a part in Jose Benavidez apologizing, bowing down, kissing the panky ring, panky, P-A-N-K-Y? Do you think that that's, that that's what went on? Or do you do you feel that, no, nah, man, you know, Jose Benavidez realized the error of his ways and he just wanted to apologize? He probably begging trying to get that fight for his son. That's really what he's doing, if, I, if I'm being honest. I don't think he really mean what he's saying. I think he's trying to get the fight for his son. So he has to go on an go on on apology tour cry snot coming out of his nose blowing his nose all that stuff there big and just hopefully that canelo would choose him not only that he said that canelo is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world and he said that um uh eddie reynoso is the number one trainer in the world now last time i checked jose senior is a trainer so you trying to say that eddie reynoso is a better trainer than you Boy, he landed on thick. Yeah, man, Jose, man, you know, um, 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 listen, man, Eddie, you, you're a better trainer than me. I, you know, I look up to you. You know, I, I, I can't hold your job strap when it comes to training. And yeah, even though Canelo had tainted me and he cheated in the past, and even though, yeah, Canelo picking the tools and the chair picking and he's avoiding my son, I apologize for all the things that I've said in the past, you know, even though it was true. I, please apologize. Please forgive me. You know, just please, just, just, just give me and my son a chance. That's what it is. He's apologizing. He's crying. And all the Canelo content creators, you know, we got a whole bunch of, we got a, quite a few pro content, Canelo content creators out there. We ain't going to say no names. They know who they are. But those guys are, are right now, they, they, they celebrate like it's 1999 right now. Please hate, like, share, subscribe. See you guys today, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Do you think I'm right in my assessment? Do you think that Al Heyman called Jose, made him go on the tour and apologize? Or do you feel that, no, it's genuine what Jose is saying? Or do you feel that Jose should have stood on his square, stuck to his guns, because Canelo ain't going to fight you anyways? All the snot, the crying, the snot coming out your nose and the crying ain't going to make no difference. Canelo don't want to fight you. Hit, hit, like, share, and subscribe. See you guys today, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You know my motto, don't beat me there, beat me there. Peace. Come on, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.